discuss the, the House for one minute and revise next time. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, in a few minutes, the House is going to uh, vote on the National Defense Authorization Act, which I strongly support. It's the product of bipartisan, bicameral comp comp compromise, which is exactly what the American people crave. And I congratulate Chairman Rogers and Smith, and Ranking Member Smith, for their outstanding work. Among its many positive provisions, the bill in particular will execute the new AUKUS agreement between the U.S., U.K., and Australia. For the first time since 1958, the U.S. will share new nuclear propulsion technology with another nation, our great ally, Australia. It also allows for the first time ever the sale to Australia of U.S.-built nuclear submarines, three to be exact. This effort will rebalance the strategic environment in the Indo-Pacific in favor of free democratic nations that today are being constantly pressurized by the aggressive actions of the world's largest navy, na namely the Chinese PLA-N. To be clear, the intent of AUKUS is to guarantee deterrence, peace, and freedom of navigation that has prevailed across the globe for the last 78 years. Mr. Speaker, this year's NDAA will be long remembered for this effort, and I strongly urge all my colleagues to vote yes for this bill. I yield back the balance. 